You know, soy products are so handy. Instead of bacon, there is soy bacon. Instead of cow's milk, there's soy milk. There are soy cheeses. One day there are going to be snow tires made of soy. It is so versatile. But when you're having some tofu or soy milk, your friends might say, hmm, I read on the internet that soy is not healthy for you. And you say, what do you mean? Well, uh, it's got hormones or it causes cancer or man boobs or something like that. Or da, da, da. You know, let's break all this down. Okay, first of all, what's great about soy? It's not dairy, it's not meat. That means there's no cholesterol in it. There's very little saturated fat in it. It's healthy overall, but there's more to it than that. There are actually protective things in soy. Whole soy foods like tofu and soy milk have what are called isoflavones. And they have a structure that's vaguely similar to testosterone or estrogen, but it has really healthful effects on the body. Now, the isoflavones actually do attach to breast cells. And so some people thought, oh my goodness sakes, if it's attaching to my estrogen receptor, that could cause cancer. But the research studies showed exactly the opposite. The women who consume the most soy have about 30% lower risk of developing breast cancer compared to their soy avoiding friends. And this is especially important for teens and even preteens because if they're having soy products while the breast tissue is forming, it becomes a particularly important cancer preventer over the long run. Okay, so what is it about soy? I mentioned that it attaches to the breast cell at the estrogen receptor. Wouldn't that be bad? Okay, next time you're in your car, look down at the floor. You've got a pedal there, it's called the gas. When you step on it, the car goes. Right next to it is the brake. When you step on the brake, what happens? The car stops. Your cells have alpha receptors and beta receptors, and soy attaches preferentially to the beta. You can really think of it as a break on cancer. Men, you get a benefit too. Men who consume the most soy have about 29% less risk of prostate cancer compared to men who are really neglecting their soy products. So it's great all the way around. Perhaps the best thing about soy really is that it's so versatile, it tastes great, and it's good for you. It's a cancer preventive, it's good for the whole family. Have at it.